Hi everyone, it is October 30, 2018. I want to thank my subscriber for alerting me to what is happening coming out of North Carolina. Does this image remind you of anything? Perhaps it reminds you of what's happening in Houston. Houston, 24-7 now, approximately two weeks. Extremely low frequencies, like I have never seen before until about two weeks ago. Yes, we are absolutely in a frequency war. And they are using these frequencies not just to track our planes, you know, the Doppler radar stations. If that was the case, then all of what is lighting up here, right down uh, throughout the coast from Houston, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, right into North Carolina, these frequencies, extremely low, can, well, we have learned from our research that they can extend for 300 miles. And this extension here, they're full out. They are full out. So, why are, why are we seeing this? It's clearly not to track planes, because you would be seeing this all over, and you don't. You don't. Many of the states, their Doppler radar systems are rather quiet. So what is the purpose of this? Weather? No. No. Mind control? Well, when you have done the research and you know that they can use these extremely low frequencies, the radar, the microwaves, or the millimeter wave coming out of our radar systems, which have known effects, known for, oh, 50, 60 years, How damaging are these frequencies? Well, one has to keep an open mind. I do believe that they are using these frequencies to mind control specific regions, populations within specific regions. Yeah, that sounds crazy. Well, it only sounds crazy to the ignorant. Um, some Whatever is happening in South Carolina, I live here in Anderson County, in Anderson, South Carolina. And I will tell you that yesterday, in particular, I felt drugged. I could not alleviate how I felt. And it was not a good drug to feeling. But I am right here. Now yesterday there were frequencies coming into the upstate of South Carolina from Georgia. Now we have these frequencies coming out of North Carolina going into South Carolina, into Tennessee into Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia, and another frequency coming out of uh, maybe Virginia area or DC on up to Pennsylvania. So what you are seeing here, you can know that everyone in this whole area 
is being affected by these frequencies. We are electromagnetic beings, and an awful lot of people just, well, don't get that everything in their body operates on electromagnetic frequencies. Your neurotransmitters in your brain are triggered by frequencies. The communication in your brain is triggered by these electromagnetic frequencies that are natural. So when we have these artificial frequencies pulsating at power densities and specific frequencies, they can change how a human being and all life, but humans, they can change how they physically feel, how they emotionally feel. They can change your spiritual, your psychic, your mental outlook, attitudes, opinions, thoughts, And considering the number of comments that I have received from many of you talking about how people have changed those people that are in your life, I have come across it. Somebody that I thought I knew, I do not know her at all anymore. Now, these frequencies can affect us in that way. But if people are, if they have started on a low level of consciousness and they don't, they've never done that work, that is necessary, that self-reflection, that uh, evaluation and reevaluation of their beliefs, their values, how they live, they do not know who they are. You may be one of them. You do not know who you are. We are brought up in a way, influenced by the adults around us, and what happens is those adults, they're right, you're young, you don't know, you, you adopt their beliefs and their values, and most people just go throughout life believing and valuing things that are not necessarily of their choosing. So if you don't do that work to really understand where did I get my beliefs from? Why do I value this? Why do I have this opinion? Why, why, why to everything? You just don't know who you are. You may think you do, but you really don't. Those are the people that these frequencies can, can affect in a very powerful way. Those are the people that are so easily changed by these frequencies because they don't understand who they are. If you don't understand who you are, if you don't understand your physical self, your emotional self, your mental self, your, your spiritual, your psychic self, if you have no understanding of any of that, then you don't even understand that you have been changed. And many of the changes come upon you very subtly. This is why self-awareness is crucial today in this war. Self-awareness wasn't so crucial when the only weapon was a bullet or even a bomb. Now, with these invisible frequencies that are targeting individuals and targeting whole populations of particular regions or an entire country. Self-awareness is critical. 
self-awareness of how you feel. Suddenly, I've been reading comments from people who um, have been saying that suddenly they are immediately like enraged and fighting with people. And they've said, this is not who I am. I don't know, you know, why? Well, they now can understand it in terms of these frequencies. Many people depressed and they don't have any reason to be. And with all of these mystery illnesses and all of these people dying suddenly, they can trigger a dormant virus in your body or bacteria in your body with these fre frequencies. They can bring it alive. So they don't necessarily have to. Um, drop mosquitoes and ticks and uh, fleas that are infected with certain viruses. Though I absolutely believe that they do that. Um, but they can bring alive any kind of dormant virus that you are carrying in your body and they can keep it alive. They can keep you sick. Now, I don't know what's going on in this area. You know, these frequencies, by the way, are extending right to where I live, which is Anderson County. We had frequencies coming out of Georgia. And that seems to be more frequent, <laughs> these frequencies that come out of Georgia right into the upstate, crossing Anderson where I live now these frequencies and what I almost forgot to tell you is for the past couple of days if you saw my recent videos on the cats and their behavior they they stopped the continuous meowing at my window for a couple of days you know, it happened, but it always happened like after five o'clock at night. This morning, they were at my window pretty much all morning until I just started this video. I couldn't open my door. They were running inside. Not all of them, but a couple of them. And before anybody leaves, they comment saying I'm cruel because I did not let them inside. Please understand that you're presuming an awful lot. And there are times when I can't keep them out. The second I open the door, there's one right there bolting in. Yes, they need homes. <laughs> They need homes. They need love and homes. So whatever I look, I'm not from South Carolina. I've lived here for a couple of years. I don't know what is going on, but something is going on. You know, come across this posted just today, mystery as Homeland Security is called in to deal with the traffic stop in South Carolina. Interstate 85, Anderson County. Uh, a pickup truck was stopped by a sheriff deputy and they called Homeland Security. We don't know why, but we know that it was not related to illegal drugs. What was it related to? Don't know. Not going to be told. All right. I want to read a little bit of this. And I will link below. It is a book, and the contents of this book, how the U.S. government won the arms race to control man. Uh, some chapters along, 20 pages, and include the original material for documentation, The Code of the Brain. This was written in 1998, and what 
I really like is that you have a tremendous amount of information to work off of. Tremendous amount of information to verify the information in this book. Um, chapter 3 describes the development of Soviet electromagnetic weapons and the physics and the biology behind the weapons. Chapter 4 list of what scientists are saying about brain research up to 19 98. It describes the physics, engineering, and biology that is needed to develop mind control technology. Chapter 5 goes into the Korean brainwashing during the 1950s. Our U.S. military was conducting an awful lot of experiments, uh, experiments around the world for a very, very long time. Chapter 6, the top scientists of the nation that work in teams to solve specific problems related to the mind control technology. And you can see the group right here. Uh, chapter 8, targeting of whole populations with electromagnetic mind control. Controlling man for political purposes. And chapter 9, Soviet discovery of the genetic code of the brain, how the U.S. surpassed the Soviets and it's chapter 9 that I want to go to to read just a little bit. The brain was decoded and the information was applied to intelligence tools and military technology in the 40s. 1965, uh, or it was during the Vietnam War, that we were already using electromagnetic weapons. Uh, researchers, and there's a whole list of them, but this researcher, Penfield, Olds, both of whom used implanted electrodes and to uh, they located the brain's different areas such as visual and auditory locations quantum physical uh, or quantum physics is used um, yes and the quantum physical effect mediates our spiritual souls and our physical brains those who actually live the principles that they speak, those who have who have done the work necessary to know who they are, they are much stronger. They have developed a substance that is much harder to control. Dr. Addy, those of you who have done research know that name a leading researcher in electromagnetic frequencies and the use of them to control the body, the mind. It is now well established that intrinsic electromagnetic fields play a key role in a broad range of tissue functions, including information transmission in the nervous system. These same processes may be profoundly influenced by electromagnetic fields induced by an external force induced by an external force uh, of course the US government along with the telecommunications industry has suppressed since the 1940s the non-thermal effects of these electromagnetic uh, pulses of radiation. No, uh, the telecommunication industry and as well as government officials will always cite the studies and they claim only the thermal effects need be studied. If you're not being heated up like you're in a microwave oven though you can be if you get hit with one of these microwaves, then it's safe. It is not safe. They never cite the non-thermal studies that have myriad effects. So other researchers, um, they researched the brain, described electromagnetic wave properties of the brain functions, as a method of direct communication with the brain, 
electromagnetic weapons, the main principles behind mind control technology. The key to consciousness is a mathematical definition of the brain processes on a quantum level. And guess what? They have figured out so much already. An abstract of an article by researchers states laser-like long-range coherent quantum phenomena may occur biologically with cytoskeletal microtubules may provide a basis for biomolecular cognition and a substrate for consciousness. It's the holy grail of consciousness. And those researchers agreed with the Soviet research. It is the holy grail of consciousness. You figure out the mathematical calculation to affect people's consciousness. If we are electromagnetic beings firing frequencies off in our brain, and we have already determined certain frequencies via MRIs. If you know that frequency, then you can emit the same frequency and target individuals or populations within a region. Once that frequency locks on to the frequency that you have in your brain, then they can change it. This is incredibly, it's such a dangerous war, it is beyond comprehension. So the technology, the mind control technology, uses highly nonlinear effects of electromagnetic radiation upon living organisms, and this can range from electro uh, uh, from uh, extremely low frequencies to hundreds of gigahertz from the extremely low frequency bandwidth all the way to the millimeter wave the key is the molecules themselves are nothing but electromagnetic configurations that is the molecules act via electromagnetic fields by exchange of electromagnetic energy with other molecules Scientists have identified the precise geometrical characteristics of the electromagnetic action associated with the given substance and then just mimic the molecular action by a carefully tailored signal. This is the basis of the mind control weapons. Geometric configurations is what you are looking at right here. So, uh, it was the Soviets that discovered the mind control technology first, and the United States caught up. And I don't know if the United States has surpassed, because we always want to say that we're just great. We're the greatest in the world, so who the hell knows if that's true. But a lead researcher from decades ago in the Soviet Union said this, who controls the entire electromagnetic spectrum will dominate the world. The informational role of electromagnetic radiation in biological systems further developed for military purposes and it was a researcher in the 1960s stating that the Soviets broke the genetic code of the human mind and I will tell you, years ago, on a different computer that I'm working on now, that I don't have access to, but I bookmarked a study that I had read, and I posted this on my original Kafka Winston World channel. In that study was a chart that listed the frequencies of human emotion. They had... <clears throat> They had discerned, they had discovered what particular frequency is anger, depression, sadness, apathy. And 
Mind control technology, the Soviet designs, include principles of lasers, particle beams, and nonlinear electromagnetic pulse effects. Pulse effects. And you are seeing pulses of these frequencies. And everybody in the entire region here is affected physically because these frequencies affect every cell in your body. The pulsating frequencies, particularly dangerous, but it does not just affect us physically. It affects us emotionally, mentally, spiritually, psychically. So the direct coupling of high-speed computers to solid-state radar was needed to optimally exploit nonlinear biological effects. A sophisticated EP weapon must project a specific geometry of electromagnetic field onto a distant object over a given terrain and in given surroundings. By choosing the right geometry, the signal can be focused into any desired area such as the brain. One relevant technique, phased array radar, our Doppler radar system. So, answer to how a victim can be targeted, targeted and tracked, it can be explained with the phased array radar technology. The antenna is capable of locking onto a target and can track objects using computers and inverse scattering computations within a fraction of a second. If a person gives off an identifiable electromagnetic signal, then an antenna can lock onto and track the target 24 hours a day anywhere in the world a simplistic example would be an airport traffic controller's radar system to track numerous planes at once. So antennas today can pick up and track the individual target's signals. They're electromagnetic signals. So for those who don't believe what targeted individuals are saying, you're only showing that you have decided ignorance is um, valuable to you in some way, that your opinion trumps evidence. But they can target entire populations. So the links are below. We are in a war. It is not just a weather war. It is a war attacking every aspect of life. In various ways. I hope everybody is feeling okay in, in these particular areas where these pulsating, extremely low frequencies are targeting and I have to ask this is extending throughout Texas and into Louisiana how are you guys feeling in this area because this has been ongoing 24-7 I have to wonder if suddenly everybody starts voting Democrat. <laughs> well, you will. You have to take into account that these frequencies can be used literally to change people's attitudes, their opinions, their thoughts, their whole way of life. No joke. 
No joke. All links are below in the description box.